Hi guys, I decided to put my production servers here. NX500 is 2000 gigabytes from Crucial. And I will show you also how to configure USXI to use less space for uh, its operating system. And uh, of course, how to create data store on the same disk. But before uh, shutting down this ESXi, I want to show you something very nice. If you are like me, you have already configured uh, your uh, ESXi. You just do a backup of the existing configuration and then you restore it on top of the, the new one. So this is what I will do. You have to enable SSH first. You go to manage and the services and the search for SSH. If you have SSH off, you will have to press on start which is grayed out in my situation. So all I have to do now is vmcmd host sbc slash firmware slash backup on feed. Yeah, if you execute this command, it's written that bundle can be downloaded at its star because I don't know why you cannot recognize the IP address of the SXI server, but it's no problem. Now I will just safely shut down the machine, reinstall everything on it, and then I will restore it back. As soon as the installer starts, you have to press Shift O. System Media Size. Okay, so System Media Size can be mean, small or default. This option was not available uh, on a previous version. This is since uh, 7.0 update 1c. Yeah, so if you have ESXi 7.0 before update 1c, you won't have this possibility. So we have to go with that uh, unofficial way to, to lower the OS partition. Okay, I will use min, which is 25 gigs. So system media size equal mean and that's it press enter you won't know if uh, this has been applied or not until you are done with the installation i won't keep you with the installation again because i i showed you one installation last time just keep in mind this if you want a smaller size for vmfsl partition see you afterwards we are back and I will show you how it looks. As you can see, it's written that you are currently running using SSI in evaluation mode. It's clearly that it doesn't have the license that I had previously, so uh, it's brand new. If I go to storage, I can see uh, this new disk with a capacity of 1.82 terabytes. And if you press on it, you will see how it's partitioned. As I mentioned, with the settings that I showed you, the uh, VMFS L partition is 23.9 gigabytes instead of uh, 100 or whatever it, uh, it is normally. And I have 1.79 terabytes free, which I can use to, to add a, a new data store on it. So uh, it was added automatically by the system. You see I have data store one, which is 1.79 terabytes now I will show you how to restore, to put back the information that was previously. SSH is not enabled. Start is clickable now, so this means the service is stopped. It's written here, stop, so action, start. So we have to put this file on the, on the server. Okay, now it's copied. So if we go on the other console, we go on TMP and it's here. We'll have to remove a dash any and we config bundle on feed bundle without minus any. And now we are ready to issue the command. The documentation recommends to put ESXi in maintenance mode. So this is what I will do now. Sorry. Okay. So now maintenance mode is set. EMP config. Okay, so as soon as you press enter, the system will reboot automatically. So do not get scared. 
so the system is rebooted. One hint it gave me when I connected to it via SSH. I do not uh, need to issue the password anymore because the previous configuration had SSH key already configured. So this is first sign that everything is back to normal. Now I will log in and we'll see. I have all data stores. I have all the network configurations and that's it. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.